Oh, hello there. Welcome to the video. Warning. This video contains super awesome content not suitable for people who don't enjoy super awesomeness. Viewer discretion advised. Oh my god, Yummy. You're sanding your car? Why are you doing that? It's not even important. Why, why are you sanding your car? This is, this is ridiculous. Oh my god, the fresh paint, the amazing Ardent Red. That looks so freaking awesome, man. The Ardent Red is so cool on the Lotus. Yeah, no thanks. Not for me. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the video. You're probably wondering why I'm sanding uh, and why that's blue. Well, if you don't know why that's blue, then you're a little behind in the videos, and I suggest maybe, possibly, you go get yourself caught up. Okay, so if you haven't already figured it out by now, blue is the color, and I'm going to show you. Check it out. I did this off camera. It is completely vinyl wrapped. Uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's done. Um, I did that. Took a little uh, a little bit, but I got it done, and I am trying to perfect things. Even after clay barring and doing a whole bunch of ridiculous processes, I have like a couple bumps. Only probably like five or six, like that guy right there, and that is from like the breeze or something like that. And that's what I thought. But after doing like clay bar and clay bar and cleaning, cleaning, clay bar and clay barring, I figured out that it is my paint. There is some spots on my paint that are just too high and they're causing situations like that. Thus, so I'm going to sand it. I'm sorry for the blurriness, but I am never driving. You are never going to see me driving a red Lotus. It's not happening. I don't like the color. It will never stay. If I can't plastic it and I can't vinyl wrap, I will pay someone to paint this car. I'm never doing it. So I don't care that I'm sanding. I'm not using vinyl to preserve my paint. I'm using vinyl to change the color of my paint. And I'm going to show you guys kind of the quick process here, what I have to do on this piece uh, and, and then the skirt piece and then the hard pieces like the clam. Uh, and we have something special in there I think you guys are gonna really like. Uh, and just kind of the whole process of what this is and it's not as hard as really people make it out to be. I mean, it is hard, but it's, it, you can learn, you know? It's right out, the first thing I did was to sand it. Um, if I sanded this, I'm not going to clay bar it. There's no point of sanding and clay barring. That's kind of like redundant. I mean, clay barring is supposed to remove uh, high grooves on the car, if you will. Like, it details, it gets rid of bumps and warps, I guess. But uh, if I'm sanding the car, there's not really any point to clay bar since this is going to get rid of any high points. Now this part is a pretty small part, so I'm not really worried about um, messing up really on the flat spots. The only part I am a little worried about, turn about is the uh, inside lip. I've never done the inside lip of anything yet, so that's gonna be kind of new to me. Uh, this part is not as bad because I can open the door and tuck this in. Um, however, it is gonna be kind of new to me on some of these parts, so um, did that, and then uh, I'll spray some alcohol. Uh, this is just like, 90, 90 something, uh, 90 isopropyl, is isopropyl. Alcohol, just a cleaning substance, if you will. You guys know what rubbing alcohol, it's just rubbing alcohol, so most of you guys should know what rubbing alcohol is. If you don't, then, um, did you graduate? Are you like, maybe in first grade? I guess you wouldn't if you're in first grade, but this is really just cleaning, guys. It's really just the process of, of prepping. I mean, it's just like anything else, like, when you do things to your car, man, it's just a process of prepping. If you don't prep anything correctly, well, guess what? Tough news for you, it's not gonna come out good. Then, um, I guess I'll start the, the vinyl process, and you guys will get to kind of see what all that looks like. Ooh, yeah, gonna look real good. I don't know what a tack cloth is. Um, it essentially is a really sticky cloth, and it just removes uh, debris that is sitting on top of whatever you're using on it. Hey! stick of vinyl, a uh, stick, what is this, butter? Here's the thing of vinyl, this is kind of what it looks like. Vinyl is type of that thing like where you want to use more, I feel like. Like I, I'm speaking of this like I'm some fucking professional. I'm not a professional at all, don't, don't believe what I'm saying. But I feel like it's something that you kind of want to have like, I don't know, I don't want to say extra, but like extra, 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 read all about it. Um, because like you want to work around the corners and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do actually here is with my super fancy vinyl cutter, I'm actually gonna mark some areas in which I am comfortable with and that I think it would be long enough, I guess. Gloves. 
Uh, these aren't just like regular gloves, they're like anti-static gloves or something like that. I believe, now don't quote me on this, I'm pretty sure this is so when you're working with the vinyl, like you can handle it better, like you can hold it better. And also on top of that, it's for like, so like the vinyl doesn't grab onto you. Does that make sense at all? Like, so the vinyl doesn't grab on from like static. Does that make sense? intermission with you guys this took probably about close to five minutes to get to this point you can see kind of how basic it is I really don't have any bad uh, dirt marks underneath this which means the sanding was pretty damn effective um, I don't know how good you guys can see from that angle um, but you can kind of see the lines of the body right here um, this is where I have to be very careful and uh, learn how to actually tuck the material in um, now if you see where I'm at right now this material doesn't really matter because this is underneath the fender flare um, but about right here down is where it does matter. So this area right here is gonna be very uh, very hard to work with, uh, in, in my opinion, because I've never done it before. So you guys are kind of watching as I'm learning um, these little creases right here. So I'm, I'm still kind of uh, a little nervous on this, but you can see how easy this went down. Uh, and this is like my, my whole thing is like, you know, maybe it's just me. I don't know if I'm like some type of like special breed of human or something, but man, I feel like I can learn anything. I, I feel like if you put your mind to things, you can learn anything you really, really want to learn. And I just feel like, I feel almost guilty paying someone to do stuff like this to my car and I feel like an asshole. Uh, and I'm not trying to like bash any companies that do this, but like, I just feel like I can do this. I can do anything I want uh, if you put your mind to it. So I feel like that's kind of my point with vinyl wrapping this car. I just don't see the point of paying people doing this type of stuff. The Lotus Elise is probably one of the hardest cars you could wrap due to the amount of things that you have to take off in the in the fact that there's no bumpers. It's a very hard car to wrap. So I feel like if I can wrap this car, anyone can wrap anything. You just need to take time, watch videos to learn, and get advice from friends that you know know what they're doing. Um, I didn't do all this stuff by myself. Big shout out again to Phantom. Big shout out to him when we were peeling the plastic off. That guy, I don't know where I'd be at with vinyl wrapping if it wasn't him. So. I don't know. I, I just feel like I feel like you guys can do anything. So take it from me. You can do anything. I captured I didn't know that a camera turned off or it could have possibly not been on that whole time uh, we'll have other vinyl spots in this but you guys can see it's pretty much on there um, I do have a couple spots I did mess up on like I said it was my first time ever working with something where I couldn't really access all the corners um, and I'm going to show you guys here in a second after I figure out how this tape works here because this is like all jacked up there we go this tape I have right here is called edge sealer um, for you guys that don't know what that is I mean it's pretty self-explanatory it seals edges so certain parts of the car that you that are going to be you know in the rain and stuff like that or whatever any elements you're going to want to seal the edge because that makes the vinyl last a lot longer um you know 
so it doesn't like peel up or anything like that. So that's kind of what it is. Uh, I don't know if you can see from that angle probably, but you're going to see one of my mistakes uh, due to this being the first time I've ever done a piece with sharp edges and like overlapping. You'll see in there, as you can see red right there and then going up a little bit there. Luckily that spot is right inside the door and it's also not the face of the car. Um, so what I'll do is I'll put knifeless tape on the edge of the blue here and I'll just put another piece of vinyl on there and then peel that knifeless tape up and that will cover that and you'll never even see that that's two actual separate pieces. My biggest issues um, with this were the corner spots. Uh, this corner spot not so much, I got it pretty much down. Uh, you can barely see the edge sealant tape, you can kind of see it uh, in a spot right there and a spot right there. Um, kind of rolling across the side. I might actually take that off, uh, but it's not very noticeable unless I show you. So another spot I had problems with was right there. So my biggest issue is I actually, I'll be able to open the door up and try to fix that um, for the most part, or I can easily just cut down this line and do the same thing that I said and put um, a whole different strip of vinyl going all the way up this line. So that's that, I'll step back. Uh, also underneath here, you can kind of see the line ends and I have the, I have the uh, edge sealer sitting in there. Um, the not so pretty part is that, I mean that's because this is all covered. Um, from here up it's all covered so all of this doesn't matter because uh, this is all covered by a fender flare. But if you see, uh, this is a pretty clean line uh, where it looked ugly as fuck. You can see that's what it looked like before. It was, uh, it was cut and it was white so it looked really bad. And that's what it looks like now. So it's very clean. Uh, down here, not so clean. Um, I did my best to try to clean that up. I mean, it's, I could cut it a little closer and have it like a little cleaner there. I probably will. Um, but the tire hits right there and you cannot see that part at all. So that's all you really see. So it looks pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. I impressed myself once again with this vinyl stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. We're gonna go do the other panel and that's what it looks like from afar. You guys uh, just kind of went out here and did this other part uh, this door has to be redone I already told you guys that I'm not happy I mean it looks good I would drive it with it it's not a big deal but I want it redone because I don't like it uh, disregard this stuff because this is getting a uh, this is get cut off from right there and then a new piece gets put on there however there you go that panel is on there perfectly it is smooth as hell since I started sanding it which I know I'm gonna get a lot of shit for um, it has come out very smooth and again I know I'm gonna get a lot of crap for uh, sanding but you know it's my car and I'm never driving around with red so whatever cameras not oh you can kind of see it right there uh, they're not quite uh, coming up in the camera but there's a lot because this piece takes so much hits so many hits over the time I mean there's another one right there um, and this is going to be arguably arguably one of the hardest if not the hardest piece to do uh, due to it going all the way up here to all the way down there so we're going to try and see how much we're going to get away with this oh it's just dirt I thought, I thought that was something else um, we're going to see how much we can get away with doing this it's going to have to be a really awkwardly long piece uh, I don't know exactly how to cut it I mean it is almost as length of my roll um, but we're going to have to try to cut it and 
probably start on the bottom possibly open up the door i don't know let's see how this looks yeah i'll probably have to do it with the door open like this which will be easier because i can get it in here um maybe have amber help me just get that piece pinned up right there take off the rear tire and then uh, just kind of plaster it on there. Once it's plastered on there, I can work it. I'm not too worried about this inside piece. This can always be redone. However, if you see what happens when I close the door, you can see about that much. So I just got to make sure it gets in about that much and roll it over. So I'm hoping probably about that line right here to roll it over. Or if I can get it all, I will. But uh, kind has got to come in here, sand this, come over, plaster it on before any dirt gets on, and uh, we'll be done with that skirt. Redo this door at some point, uh, and then... After that, we'll come around to the side. I think I've already showed you guys, but I still have to do the bottom piece over there uh, and then put an inside piece here, uh, which will go in the inside of the door. I'll actually show you because I don't think I showed you guys, but right there, uh, another piece of vinyl will be put right there, um, and then we'll have knifeless tape pulled up. Look good. I have to sand all this and get all this plastic up off. I didn't pull all this off this side. Oh, look at that. Well, now I did, I guess. I did the other side, but... This side, I guess I just got lazy and didn't do it, but I didn't show you guys this process. I needed Amber to help me, so it wasn't something that I was going to record. As you can see, I have my 3M knifeless tape going all the way up. Um, obviously, I haven't cut sections that I can easily cut like this. I can easily cut that. Uh, and obviously, by the window coming up. So the body lines that I'm actually using are the lines that you can see in the groove there. Um, you see the kind of groove. We're going to use those body lines for the stripes. And that is what I'm doing. Um, and if you guys haven't figured out, yes, there are stripes on the car now. There will be. Um, also used uh, this body line as well. So uh, where this is at right now, it's not actually going to be there. It actually starts right here, um, right at this cut. So we use this line coming down, and it's going to go all the way down the car and then down to the bottom, obviously. Um, so I've seen Elise's with this. Um, how they use this body line and that's what I'm going to utilize and do uh, and then up here This will all be cut this will stay body color and this will just be the whole black so it will be almost like a uh, almost like a a type of cut off of the of the of the stripe and I've seen that before and I liked how it looks so we're gonna do that um, I ran out of 3m tape though so I won't be able to finish the car in this video so you guys won't get to see the ending result but there it is you guys can kind of see it, it goes up like that Comes all the way up, and the window looks kind of wonky because it's all hanging, and then you can see like that. Got to mimic that on the other side, and then the Lotus badge will actually go right in between these, this this body line. It'll look really good. And things we learned um, this is going down well this is good on here a uh, couple things though I have to rip up this seal which I was hoping I didn't have to do and I'm going to have to do it uh, so I that sucks because I have to buy more seals and somehow get this to sit down I'll probably put super glue underneath this lip right here just to get it so it'll sit down a lot better than what it is um, this piece is good on there it's a little dirty for me moving around and stuff that's you know, I can watch that. However, I'm gonna have to call that a video. A lot of you guys doubted me, or a lot of the people that watched my video doubted me with the vinyl, and I'm doing it just well. Everything is going out as planned. The only thing is, is I didn't properly prepare, so I need vinyl. Oh, and I need more uh, of this tape. I need more of the 3M tape, which I can buy with the vinyl. Love you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. That is it. I hope you guys like the idea that I'm going with this car. I hope you guys like the blue like the black stripes, or whatever. I'll see you guys on another video. Take it easy, and goodbye.